guys, this is Luvi. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And again, my name is Luvi. So, today's video is another lifestyle or beauty kind of video because as a derma nurse here in Dubai, yes, I'm working as a derma nurse. I think meron na kong capability to impart my knowledge when it comes to skin, especially when it comes to protecting our skin. What we are going to discuss today is about sunscreen or sunblock. I don't know kung nagpanood niyo yung isa kong video before about how I do my makeup during my everyday duty. First and foremost, my staple item is the sunblock. So, yeah, what about sunblock or sunscreen? Meron sa inyo na ko confuse what is sunblock or what what is sunscreen. At first, kanun din ako. I'll explain it to you in a more detailed manner and in depth somehow. And I hope ma explain ko talaga ng maayos. Also, I'll be showing you guys later at the end of this video my two holy grail sunblock. So if you are interested about sunblock or taking care of your skin. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and of course, hit the notification bell right here so that you'll be able to be notified whenever there's a new video. And of course, share this if you think you know someone who will need a knowledge about taking care of their skin, who will need information about sunblock or sunscreen. Before ko explain sa inyo kung ano ang difference ng sunblock or sunscreen or kung pareho lang ba sila, mayroon akong uh, ibibigay ng mga terminologies or words na common na common nating maririnig pag pinag-uusapan natin ang sunblock or sunscreen. SPF, yan yung nakalagay sa mga bote or uh, plastic ng mga sunblock or sunscreen na nabibili nyo sa pharmacy or sa supermarket or wherever. It stands for Sun Protection Factor. Meron niyang mga nakasulat na SPF 15, SPF 10, SPF 25, 50, 55, 100. Another terminology that you always see when we talk about or when we see a uh, sunblock or sunscreen is UVA and UVB. Ito yung mga radiation na nabibigay ng araw. So kapag nag-expose tayo sa beach, nag-beach tayo, nagpainit tayo, during that sun exposure, nagbibigay si haring araw sa atin ng ultraviolet rays na tinatawag nating UVA rays and UVB rays. Ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng UVA rays at UVB rays? Ang UVA rays, guys, ito yung radiation na nanggagaling sa araw na nagbibigay sa atin ng aging. Hindi ko ano napapansin nyo, pero mostly ng mga nagpapatan or nagpapa, nagbibilad sa araw, especially sa mga western people, their skin tends to age fast compare sa ating mga Pinoy, especially sa mga Koreans, kasi tayo mga Asian medyo, alam mo yun, takot tayo sa araw kasi kahit na tropical country tayo at mainit talaga din sa atin, may mga panong mainit sa atin, pero takot na takot tayo sa ating araw, kahit pa andami nating beach, especially tayo mga taga Pilipinas, we are a tropical island and we have a lot of beaches and seas, pero Takot talaga tayo sa araw. Compare to the western people, they love to expose their skin under the sun. So, UVA yung nagko-contribute para magkaroon ka ng skin aging tulad ng wrinkles. So, kapag may mga kulubot-kulubot ka dyan, kahit bata ka pa, tapos intense kang magpainit, magbilad sa ilalim ng araw, you notice na meron kang mga wrinkles, that's because of the ultraviolet A rays. Now, what is UVB? Ito yung radiation ng araw na nagbibigay sa atin ng burn. So, kapag meron ka nakikita na pag nagbilad ka o pag naligo ka sa dagat at sobrang tagal mong na-expose, nagkakaroon ka na ng sunburn. That's because of ultraviolet B rays. So, ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng sunblock at sunscreen? Sunblock, guys, 
From the word itself, sunblock, block, it blocks the radiation of the UVB para pumunta dun sa ating balat. So, ito yung nagpo-protect sa atin against the UVB rays. So, kung gumamit ka ng sunblock at nag-expose ka sa ilalim ng araw, iba-block niya yan, iba-block niya yung iyong katawan or yung iyong skin against the UVB. So, parang i-disperse niya or i-scatter niya yung rays or yung radiation na yon mula sa araw. So, hindi makakapasok yun sa iyong balat. While the sunscreen from the word itself screen, eto naman yung ang nangyayari naman dito is inaabsorb niya ang UVA rays. So, sunblock, it blocks. And from the sunscreen, it screens but it absorbs. So, you can say na ang sunblock is more of a physical kind and then ang sunscreen is more of a chemical kind. So, ano ba ang dapat kong kunin? Sunblock or sunscreen? Ang tatandaan nyo, ang dapat nyong kunin ay may nakasulat na broad spectrum which means pwede niyang i-block ang UVA, ang UVB which means it's a sunblock and it's also a sunscreen. So kahit ano yan, sunblock or sunscreen as long as it's a broad spectrum it doesn't matter kasi pareho lang yan. Bear in mind, the broad spectrum label should be there. I have here like this broad spectrum SPF 55. It says here sunscreen but this can also be considered as a sunblock because it's a broad spectrum which means it can protect me from UVA and UVB. So, I hope na naliwanagan kayo pagdating sa pagkakaiba ng sunblock and sunscreen, UVA and UVB. So, again, bear in mind, whatever na makita mo sa supermarket, sa grocery, sa drugstore, sa pharmacy, just always check if it's broad spectrum, then you are good to go. Sabi nila yung sunblock daw, you can just apply it and then you can directly expose yourself under the sun without the waiting time. While the sunscreen screen is uh, you have to wait at least 30 minutes before you expose yourself under the sun but me personally I always always apply my sunscreen or my sunblock 30 minutes 30 minutes before I expose or before I go out under the sun and another question that I always encounter is um, magmamatter ba kung 155 or 20 lang yung sunblock or ang sun protection factor ko Guys, actually, no. Kahit pa yun 15, 10, 15, 25, 50, or 55, or even 100, hindi yan magmamatter. Kasi the important thing is, I think nasabi ko rin to before sa previous video ko, ang importante kasi dyan is how frequent the reapplication is. As a derma nurse, ang knowledge ko is dapat nire-reapply mo yan every 2 hours. So, hindi yan importante kahit 100 pa yung sun protection factor mo, hindi kanyan mapoprotekta all day long. What matters is how frequent you reapply the sunblock. So bear in mind also that you have to reapply your sunblock every 2 hours. Kasi hodang SPF 10 year or SPF 100. So I hope may na-clarify ako sa confusion between sunblock, UVA, UVB, sunblock, and sunscreen. I'm gonna show you guys the two of my most holy grail sunblock. Uh, ito lang yung usual kong ginagamit. These are the two sunblocks that I have and that I love actually. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 55 and then this is the Bioray Ultraviolet Aqua Rich Watery Gel SPF 50. The difference between these two actually I ran out of this Bioray na and I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Watery Gel to you guys. Ayan, ganyan. Ayan. So there. Ayan. As the name implies, it's watery, so it's very runny right here. Both of these sunblock that I have, parehong gustong gusto ko yung amoy. Although, this one tends to have a white cast right here as you can see. So, that's why I'm not using this under uh, my makeup. Actually, lahat naman yata ng SPF 25 and above, kapag ginamit mo under your makeup, it will give you a white cast. So, I don't use sunblock under my makeup unless it has a quite low SPF. So, there. I have already spread it evenly, I think, but it's still there. You can see it still reflects and it's giving a white cast. So there. While the other one that I have here also is my another favorite. This is from Neutrogena. It's like a lotion. 
there there so it's not runny it's not liquidy not compare like this this one tends to be very white it's not as clear as the bio ray but this one doesn't give me a white cast it doesn't give me a white cast compared than this bio ray I don't know if you can see the difference but yeah it turns out that this still has some reflect still has some sheen into it and this one is just fast absorbing yeah both of them feels lightweight very lightweight that's what I like about them even this Neutrogena says here lightweight and clean feel and fast absorbing water resistant and this one unfortunately it's all in Japanese Japanese uh, translation I, I, is this Japanese yeah Japanese or Korean I think yeah so yeah so these are my two holy grail sunblock here in Dubai I don't know I have tried the Bioderma I have tried the Cetaphil so as of the moment this is what I like and probably I'm gonna do some more videos or labanan ng mga sunblock and I'm gonna go into details into each um, sunblocks pero syempre that's going to be another video so that's it for today's video guys I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you learned something from this video today again if you enjoy this kind of video please don't forget to like this and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet click the notification bell right here and of course comment and share this if you think that this is a good video and if you think someone can learn from this bye bye god bless take care of your skin and of course stay healthy and stay safe bye bye